You see how beautiful this looks. Hey guys, I'm pretty sure you already saw the title, but in case you missed it, today's, going to, today's video is going to be about how to make homemade peanut butter. It's amazing. I personally love peanut butter. Its protein content is amazing. And I have it pretty much quite literally every single day. And if I bought that outside, then it definitely would add up and cost me quite a bit. So that's why I thought about this of making homemade peanut butter. It's pretty fair to assume that I thought it would be, it would be a difficult process to make, but it's not actually, it's quite simple. And you can find all the ingredients at home. It should take you about 15 minutes to make and it's completely worth it. It saves you up so much money in the long run. The best part about this is that there are no preservatives in this. So there, there is no additional unhealthy part of, the, uh, of this homemade peanut butter. And even though there's no preservatives, its shelf, it, it shelf life is pretty good because the oils that naturally is present in the peanut butter acts as a preservative itself. So you don't need to worry about storing it in the fridge or anything. And it, it stays for a long time even though mine doesn't last, I need to make it pretty much every single week. So guys, let's head to the kitchen and check out how it's going to be made. Alright, first we need to take about 300 grams of peanut butter and we're going to roast it. So for that, we need to add a bit of oil. So one teaspoon should do. Mix it up a little so that it's evenly coated. Then you need to microwave it. Uh, so for me, in my microwave, it takes about 6 minutes to roast properly. Yours might uh, might vary, so you can experiment a little bit. Maybe it's five, maybe it's seven, but for me, it's six minutes. Right? Seems like it's roasted. Now, you need to set it aside for a while because it's probably too hot. And <laughs> I've made mistakes by myself. For example, if you put it too hot in the mixer, then the mixer might get spoiled and yeah that's the reason why you need to set it out for like five five minutes maybe or you can do something to cool it down for example you can put this in a bigger bowl and air it out a bit let me show you how to do it Once it's cooled down, we can add the good stuff now. First, we're going to put some about one fourth teaspoon of salt. Then, we're going to add jaggery. I already pounded some jaggery beforehand, so that's what I'm going to add. Try to do a better job than me by just evening out a bit. Let me use a spoon weight. Alright. Now shift this into a mixy. I want you guys to be very patient during this process because this is the most time consuming part. So if you want it to be buttery smooth, you need to be patient and churn it more. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll come back in a few. Alright guys, we've finished. And I want you to see how beautiful this looks.
there you guys homemade and healthy peanut butter all right now as a bonus let me show you guys what goes really well with peanut butter and i'm pretty sure you were you must have not tried this before but let me show you guys watermelon easily the most awesomest fruit for summer it's summer right now anyway so you'll be surprised how well this goes i literally eat this every single morning and i start my day off with this take a spoon of peanut butter and just dress it over it now the next one wow amazing all right guys man i sorry i couldn't resist so guys be sure to like and share and subscribe obviously for more food related content I tend to put a lot of videos on Instagram as well. So, follow me and on Instagram. I'll put the link in the description below. I hope you learned something new. Everybody likes peanut butter. So yeah. I'll see you in the next video. For the time being, I'm going to enjoy this. Wow.